everyone, welcome back to part two of DIY All of Atelier Dupes. We are recreating some of their decor because they don't sell it online and they only have one store in Los Angeles. So if you don't live in California and you really love that old world vintage style, then I highly suggest you run over to your local thrift store and see if you can find some items with a little bit of a potential. And even if they're the wrong color or the wrong texture and they would never match your current home decor, we have a few affordable DIY methods to cover here so you can turn your ugly thrifted home decor into something really chic for your home. So let's jump into the first project. In part one, we duped one of Olive Atelier's Turkish olive jars with this colorful pot from the thrift store that I took home for only $15. So the next thing I picked up was this glass vase. I don't think that they sell glass materials, but I have a few ideas to make this look like it's a piece of ceramic pottery. Okay, so I'm going to use the air dry clay again, and I'm just gonna start sticking it to the glass like this, just to give it like a simple layer. And I don't want it like too thick or too bumpy. I'm just kind of making a texture on this so that it doesn't feel like glass. Rolling it out on a mat can help kind of take away all of the fingerprints as well as thin it out so that it doesn't feel too thick in one area. Definitely want to keep the shape of this because that's why I liked it in the first place. It looked like one of their tiny vessels. And I think for now we can keep the inside of this free of clay because we can always paint it. And we definitely don't want to miss the bottom here or else it won't really feel like a real pot once we're done. I think it's fine if there's just little like indentations and things like that where it doesn't look even. I think try to make it look as even as possible, but I think at the end of the day, the texture is going to give it character and that's what we're looking for. <laughs> As you can see, this pot has been really cracked with the air dry clay. I think this is pretty standard and normal. A lot of the moisture just comes out of it and as it like shrinks, it just cracks. I know there's another type of air dry clay. I think it's like DAS or something that is supposed to not crack. However, I think this really adds to our patina and making it look like it's old world vintage. So right now I'm just actually going to cover some of this, like these pieces right here that are falling off and I'm gonna cover it with some joint compound. And after we let the joint compound dry, we're going to paint it and we'll almost have a finished product here. So let's get to it. <laughs> So now that we have it fully saturated with joint compound, it's really sealing a lot of those cracks, but I still kind of want some of those to come through. So I'm just gonna take this chip brush and just kind of lightly graze it across the joint compound. So it's gonna give it additional texture as well as hopefully show some of that cracking. I'm really just loving how this is looking. It looks super natural and organic and I'm excited to see the final result. Alrighty, after letting it dry on those little drying triangles, especially so the bottom could dry out, I'm using a terracotta spray paint as well as this amber sea glass one because it has a terracotta color to it. So the first step I'm gonna do is just lightly spray the vase with the terracotta spray and give it that color and texture. But I'm just gonna do a really slow build here because I don't wanna fully saturate it. I wanna give it layers and the layers are actually gonna give it that old world vintage look. It's gonna look like it's traveled through many different decades. Okay, so here I'm actually using that sea glass spray. It gives it a really nice satin finish, which also kind of replicates the look of a glaze on a pot, in my opinion. So I'm kind of just putting this on the top half as a lot of their pots have a little bit more of a glaze toward the top or toward the bottom and not over the entire thing. So I'm just gonna give this a little bit of a layering and keep going back and forth between the terracotta spray and the sea glass spray. And then we'll let that dry and move on to the next step. Okay. 
Okay, now that this pot is mainly dry, I'm just gonna take some white chalk and rub it all around with no rhyme or reason. A lot of these terracotta pots have some water damage to them or some like nicked off white paint. And so I'm just gonna rub this all around and then just kind of rub it in. And this chalk is actually really sticky and it should stay on the pot. So I'm just gonna continue to go around it and just give it a really nice patina and make it feel like it's naturally worn out just to make it feel like it has some natural water damage and discoloration. Okay, so for my final step, I'm using this decorative wax from Home Depot and I've never used it before, but I think it'll work because wax is meant to stick to like natural materials. And I just wanna add some more like brown kind of dirty layering to this to give it even more depth. And so I'm just gonna try to go over some spots that maybe I put too much chalk on or maybe highlight some of the creases so that they feel a little bit deeper. And if I put too much on or wipe too much chalk off, I'll just put some back on there and just continue to layer it until I think that it looks good. Alrighty, now it's time to take a look at what this vase looked like and what we've turned it into. Alrighty, well let me know in the comments below what you thought of this terracotta pot. I was really actually pretty happy with a lot of these methods considering I haven't used them before. They turned out really great. So if you like this video as well, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna see part three in this DIY Olive Atelier dupe series. In the next video, I'm gonna share with you a few affordable DIY ideas on how to create textured bowls as well as dupe some European wooden breadboards. So make sure you hit the notification bell if you wanna be alerted when that comes out. Other than that, I will see you guys soon. Bye.